Hello and welcome to Full of Food. Recently I made a video comparing the stats on the two Ninja air fryers we have in our house. The first was the Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone Air Fryer and the other was the more recently released Ninja Foodie Flex Draw Air Fryer. In this video I want to tell you about the major difference between the two and the main selling point. Most of the functions, cooking times, temperatures etc are all identical. It's all about the basket size with these two. So here is a comparison between the Max Dual Zone and the Flex Draw after a few weeks of use, looking at the Dual Zone with the two drawers and the Flex Draw with its one massive drawer. Just before we get into it, the basket size pros and cons, I want to tell you two differences you may or may not be aware of between the two machines. Firstly, the price. The Flex Draw is on the whole a bit more expensive than the Dual Zone. In the UK, you can pick up the Flex Draw for about £270, while the Dual Zone comes in cheaper at £200. Secondly, Ninja has added an extra function to the Flex Draw. It has a Prove function for dough, so great for fresh home baked bread, pizza bases, etc. Every other function is present on both of them. So, on to the headline feature the baskets. I want to talk about the couple of pros and cons for each. Let me know which one you prefer, the dual zone or the flex draw, in the comments below. Firstly, there's a big difference in capacity. The flex draw has a whopping 10.4 litres, which is 10% larger than the dual zone. And this is very noticeable when cooking, especially if you're used to knowing how much goes into your dual zone. Next up, the flex draw can be split into two zones, which can be independently set or just take the insert out and have one large mega zone cooking area. The large zone is fantastic for families. Think fajita night, a whole roast chicken or an amazing paprika chicken tray bake. But when you want to only cook a smaller portion or two separate items, you just pop the divider back in and use it as a regular air fryer on each side. But even then, the side is larger in the drawer than the dual zone. You can see this by comparing huge size of the bottom tray for each machine. For me, having a family of five, the larger basket has been a game changer, as we can finally cook large meals for all of us in the one machine, and not have to worry about what goes where and when and what time. We recently cooked a whole roast chicken, and it was the easiest roast I've ever cooked something I just can't do in the dual zone. There is, however, a couple of problems with the large basket. One small issue is with cleaning. If you use one side, you pretty much have to clean the whole thing, as there's no way to separate the side you've used when filling it with water. The dual zone is much easier in this regard that if you only use one, you only clean one. The more noticeable problem with the larger drawer is something I didn't realise till I actually started using it. And that was the way I took the food out. We cook chips in our air fryer a lot. And to get the chips out is hard work pouring them onto a plate. It's not as easy as it is with the single drawer from the dual zone. As it's such a big tray, it's really hard to tip them out. I end up having to pick them out, which takes longer and you never quite get those amazing little small crispy bits at the bottom. The dual zone doesn't have this problem. Filling it with chips, for example, is a dream as you just pour them out onto the plate when they're ready and everything comes out from the basket. Even things like cooking and shaking midway. I didn't realise it's far easier with the dual zone. You just pull out the tray, give it a little shake and put it back in, one-handed, really easy. With the flex drawer, it's much harder to pull out and give it a shake. It requires two hands and a lot more effort, especially when it's full. And if you've got two separate things in the tray, you're shaking both sides at the same time. For me and my family of five, I'd 100% recommend the flex drawer over the dual zone, simply due to the large size basket and being able to cook large meals with ease. If you're a smaller family, not needing to cook more than a couple of plates of food, I'd probably recommend the dual zone, unless you desperately want to cook large joints of meat. Yes, the flex drawer is harder to use when pulling the drawer out, but the size of the, that basket is just too useful to ignore. Everything else apart from the proof function, such as cooking speed, timers, temperatures, are identical. 
So unless you desperately need a proof function, I'd base your buying decision on whether or not you want to cook a large meal in it regularly. If not, get the dual zone. If you do want to cook a larger meal, then get the more expensive flex drawer. It is superb. I hope that's been of help. Do like and subscribe. Till the next video, bye bye.